Come to spot me, Lieutenant. I'm here to decide if you're fit for duty. <laughs> as fit as I'll ever be. Good. Because the road deactivated the EMH for good. <laughs> Not getting along, I take it. We've also got a problem. There wasn't any response to the messages we sent home. <sighs> what do you expect? You really think Section 31 would implicate themselves in a conspiracy by being the messenger? That's why we piggyback those messages on your standard report. You underestimate 31. What do you want to do about it? Send another message, this time in the clear. You can't have it both ways, Lieutenant. Either I'm 31 or I'm not. You can either play at their level, or we can forget that they ever existed. A deal's a deal. Convenient. Do you want out or not? I'll work with Gillen. See what I can do. Good. Thank you. What for? Lieutenant? Arkin, I have a question. My name is Kekis. No, it isn't. Take this. This isn't true. Another lie. Tell me the location of the Romulan prisoners. Why are you here? Where are the Romulans being held captive? I can hear it in your voice. You didn't come here to interrogate me. Just answer the question, Arkin. I am Cacus. I am no fool. Your deception is visible even to a blind man. The Great Ones, they put me on this ship for a reason. Why have you come? Here, compliments of the EMH. The last thing he was assigned before he was taken offline was to complete your visor. Is it adequate? <sighs> I can see colors, energy. The Great Ones have answered my prayers. You can thank the ingenuity of Starfleet Holographics. I was against giving you your sight back. But Captain Rose seems to believe that we must begin again. I will tell you what I know. Fainted. Why? Vasovaja reflex. Probably due to stress. It's fairly common. I mean, why now? I've run every test in the book. She's as fit as a Denobulan hummingbird. Perhaps you should ask her. Sir, I... I don't know what's wrong. Normally, I'd recommend the ship's counselor. We don't have one. Maya, walk with me. Decade. What's going on, Maya? It's nothing, sir. 
I just, I haven't been sleeping very well. My mind's been wandering a bit when I try to sleep. Just the normal stuff. That's normal. Fainting on duty isn't. I need you at 100%, Maya. I am, sir. No, you're not. Take some time off. Nevin, it's me. Cut me a break, okay? All right, have Vaughn give you something to help you with the sleep. Maybe I'll ask the EMH instead. If you want to subject yourself to that thing, go right ahead. General Morrigue, thank you so much for your kind words at my coronation ceremony. Your report? Grand Mahjong. The Kelvin resistance at our proving grounds has been neutralized. Has the science ministry provided a timetable for completion of the new wormhole complex? I've suspended the wormhole experiments until we can determine why the Kelvins mass their forces there. Let them eat of this tainted fruit. Our destiny lies in another galaxy. Of course. But the tainted fruit of which you speak was a gift from the Great Ones. My wise general. The Great Ones are generous, as always. There is another matter. Cacus. Grand Bajan, there is no evidence that the rumor of Cacus' survival is anything more than that. This inquiry into the Proven Grounds must be completed by the Seventh Tide. You will personally oversee the matter. I have many very capable investigators. None so interested as you, General. You may leave my presence. Laws, why are you at the helm? Science, security, pilot. Talora can't decide where she wants me. Pick a color and stick with it. Commander, what have you got? Kelvin settlement on the southern continent. No life signs, probably long gone. Omega? Nothing yet. The planet is covered in ice. Some areas 50 kilometers thick. We may need to send an away team just to be sure. Mind the traps. Of course. And Commander, Kekus has been cooped up in his quarters for the better part of two months now. I think he could use a bit of fresh air. I trust you can handle that. I would rather spit neutronium, sir. It's settled then. It's a hodgepodge of Arkin and Kelvin technology. If it was on the Kelvin map, I'm guessing the Arkin showed up later? I'm guessing will get us nowhere. Have you found anything yet? No life signs, no Omega. Dead end. Split up and begin the sweep. Stadi Gillen together. Cake is here with me. It appears to be a lab, Commander. But a lab for what? I can turn on power from here if you wish. No, I'll do it. Downloading data now. This will take a few minutes. Talura? What is it? There's something beyond that bulkhead in the next room. I'm showing an airlock. Beyond that, then? Outside, in the snow? Probably the refuse. I don't think so. Lead the way. Everything suggests some sort of research or medical facility. Well, whatever they're doing must have required a hell of a lot of juice. Why else would they need an Omega module at a science station? We still don't know Omega was ever here. The map has never been wrong. <laughs> Said the pirates stranded on the desert island. Listen, I take my treasure hunting seriously, Lieutenant. <sighs> what is it? We're not alone. We can't stay out here long. Too many heavy gases. Leads to fluid in the lungs. 
Not a pleasant way to die. I'm all right. My species spent much of its time breathing fluid. Our lungs are a recent evolutionary change. Over here. Kelvin? DNA is a 99% match for Arkin base code. Why would an Arkin wear an environmental suit? There's an inscription on the helmet. Can you read it? It's a name. Rister? Basha Rister. Who's that? We need to leave. Now. You're not sensing anything? Nope. Whatever it is, it's as dead as a doornail. But the tricorder doesn't lie. Okay. I'm pulling up the data now. I don't know if I can translate this. Calvin? No, it's identical to Arkin interfaces I've seen, but without the intuitive graphics. This is more like scientific logs and data. Anything useful? It's a list of scientists. What they were working on, or maybe what killed them. Talora Stadi, prepare for emergency transport back to the ship. Talora, we've made a breakthrough in here. What's wrong? Biohazard. Odyssey, lock onto the away team and transport with full decontamination. They're in the buffer now, sir. Starting containment scan. Acknowledged. Dr. Vaughn, prepare to receive the away team. Scan negative, sir. What are your orders? Computer, erect a level one security field in sick bay. Lipinski, beam them directly to sick bay. Well, well. Now who's behind the force field, subcommander? Still you, from where I'm standing. Do you know why you are in my presence? You are loyal to me. Of course, Grand Marjan. Loyal to General Morrigue as well. He has taught me all that I know. I will teach you so much more. You've all received a clean bill of health. Whatever killed the Arkin, it's not there anymore. So why the biohazard then? Basha Rister created the weapon that trapped the Calvins in primitive bodies. It crippled those it did not kill outright. It made our conquest of them absolute. Based on the logs we downloaded, this planet was conquered nearly a century ago. And the Arkin would have disposed of the Omega Module, or taken it elsewhere. I guess our treasure map was a little outdated. That facility was where the bioweapon was developed. It was tested on Kelvins. It is an unpleasant memory, even to us. And now it appears Basha Rister died there along with the rest of her staff. We always wondered what happened to them. The Arkin must have investigated what happened there long ago. After the weapon was deployed, Basha was believed to have returned to her secluded work. The Empire had no reason to investigate, not when the war was already won. Okay, so we go back, find out how she died, bring all samples aboard. Remember, take all precautions. Stadi, what about your find? A fully preserved body. Logs indicate it was put into stasis about the time everybody else abruptly kicked the bucket. Can we thaw for analysis? We can go a step further. I think whoever froze the body wanted someone to find it. The cause of death appears to be exotic vapor compounds in the body. If there's minimal tissue damage, we can reverse it. We could be exposed to whatever killed those scientists. Maybe the Arkin had the right idea and let sleeping dogs lie. Captain, we may find something useful in all this. A bioweapon. We're not that desperate. No, I mean, if we can learn how the bioweapon works, we may be able to reverse it. Why would you want to help the Kelvin? Something you said? Sometimes you have to begin again. Force field is stable. Cyanotrophin levels are within acceptable levels, but if they spike again, I can't make any promises. What now? Only thing left to do. 
Start the heart. Four cc's cortisine. Heart function stable. Reading lung activity. Can you hear me? Easy. Easy now. You're okay. We brought you back. What is your name? Kenna. Dr. Kenna Burrell. Your condition was treatable. Why were you put in stasis? What happened? There wasn't time. Everyone was dying. I had to rig the machine to do it to myself. A virus. I don't know. Are there others? None. Just some remains of Basha Rister. Basha? She... She was outside in the elements. We're doing an autopsy now. We never heard from her. She never came back. Madness, we thought. We'll have time for this later. Let me give you something so you can rest. Wait. Our work. Some data survived. Not much. Oh, there is so much to do. You made weapons. No. That was Rister's work. We aimed for so much more. That's enough. We'll talk more tomorrow. Keep us posted, Doc. Deck one? That was strange. How so? For her, she's only been out a few hours. She didn't seem to care who we were. Why there's one Arkin on a ship full of unfamiliar people. Isn't that odd? She seemed dedicated to her work and the well-being of her colleagues. Did you send something from her? No. But I've had trouble reading most Arkans. Not to mention Elosians and Kelvins. Hell, I can't even read myself half the time. You've lost sleep over it. That obvious? Or does that visor pick up thoughts now, too? Just an impression. I may have something that will help you clear your mind. If you have time, we I have to brief the captain. But maybe I'll stop by after. Am I still alive? No torch will break me. Neither would comfort or bribery. I'm still considering how best to proceed with you. So I'm in limbo. That is a religious notion. You pay much lip service to such notions, if only to evade the suspicions of your grand Majan. You've attacked three outposts in the last month. Gateway complex is an obvious target. I'm more interested in the other two. What are you seeking? What is the immortal loom? You mistake pacifism with cooperation. You've been captured. You can either tell me what the immortal loom is, tell me why you are seeking it, or you can let the secret die with you. I cannot let you go. I have exhausted the list of my failures in our Mahjong's eyes. But you can still do something to help both our people before we have to kill you. If the mortal loom is what I think it is, you know something. Speak. We believe it holds the cure, the power to restore our natural state. That is something that would frighten our grandma, John, indeed. No doubt about it, blunt force trauma. Could she have succumbed to a virus, lost balance, and then have been injured? 
I don't think so. The injury was to the back of the head. The helmet would have protected that area. They were wearing helmets to protect themselves from whatever virus was killing them. And Rister ran outside to escape it? There's no way she could have gotten this injury while wearing the helmet. What is the probability that the blunt force injury was not lethal, and that she later succumbed to a virus? Again, possible, but not likely. The fracture was so deep it would have punctured the cranial arteries. Then there's only one conclusion. Basha Rister was murdered. Please, enter. Sorry I'm late. Talora wanted to go over the Rister autopsy. She forwarded me the report. It's difficult to fathom. Murder? With so many people dying around you, anyone could... Ah, uh, well... I didn't come here to dig up old wounds. You came here so that I could help you. I can't turn my mind off. There's so many thoughts swimming through my head. When one finds oneself drowning in our thoughts, one should call out to those who can help us swim. When I find myself drowning in my mind, I call out to the great ones. Have they ever spoken back? Many times. What do they say? It is not verbal. It's a feeling. Here. We've recovered everything we can. We'll be breaking orbit soon. No, we can't leave. I can recover our work. This is important. And what exactly was your work, Doctor? An end to disease. An end to mortality. An end to suffering. There was nothing in the logs that would indicate anything other than weapons research. Please. You've got to give me a chance. Let me prove it to you. All right. But no more than two days, Doctor. Work with Stadi and Cacus. Stadi will assign you temporary quarters. If it's all the same, Captain, I'd prefer to spend my time on the surface. Then you won't mind if I have Stadi accompany you, for your safety. Not at all. I'll enjoy the company. <sighs> Dagad, you are the song of my heart. I am pleased, Masha. <laughs> You've done well, a boy of your integrity will go far in this fleet. You have aspirations. I've always looked up to General Morugu, that someday I might command as he does, to serve the Great Ones. Of course. Speaking of General Morugu, you must spend a great deal of your time by his side. Oh yes, Marjana. He keeps me very busy. Does he ever speak of Cacus? He would never speak of Cacus. Not after. And the Kelvins? Are they his friend or foe? Forgive me. I, I don't understand. There have been escapes. Leaked information. General Morrigue has attempted to find the perpetrators every time, and he keeps failing. Do you know why? I do not know, Grand Marshal. I need to know where his loyalties lie. You will help me test him. The General is a source of honor in our fleet. He deserves our respect. There is more than honor at stake. Your future. But, Marjan. Leave my bed. Now. What will you do now? I will continue my work. I notice you haven't touched my summary of current events. Not interested in the Arkan Empire anymore? It doesn't matter. SFZs and Kelvins will be insignificant if we can free ourselves of the bonds of mortality. 
It's ironic, if we hadn't engaged in the barbaric testing on the Kelvins, we would have never discovered the link between shape-shifting and conscious thought. You were that close. Well, there were problems. Some of the scientists were afraid of the possibilities. Do you ever regret what you did to the Kelvins? Not a day goes by that I don't, Maya. But we can make it right. Are you a religious person, Maya? Thanks, but I've already heard the pitch for the Great Ones today. I followed them so faithfully. Now, I've set my sights higher. What are you doing then? Looking for answers. Will you join me? Sure. Why not? What is this place? This is only the beginning. Our minds are linked, Maya. We can have anything be anything we want. You're telepathic? No. This is real. You and me in this place. The Kelvins call it the Immortal Loom. But this... This is the gateway to heaven. To the Great Ones themselves. I've decrypted more of the logs, but certain sections aren't readable. What can you tell me? Entries are out of sequence. I know this much because the data blocks have been moved. Someone has altered the logs. Commander, we've been relying on Kekas for the translations. If there's stuff that he's not telling us... Computer, show me the location of Kekas. Peaceful, isn't it? You want to be with the Great Ones? We can be with the Great Ones. But in order to do that, I need to complete my research. I want to help you. But I'm afraid, Basha. We'll do it together. We're together. That's all that matters. Basha Rister. She killed Dr. Burrell. Why did you not mention this before? I didn't believe her capable of murder. You must understand. Basha Rister is revered in Arkina. She is the savior of our people. And yet your government failed to send a rescue party. Her experiments turned radical. Too radical. She's trying to bridge the gap with the Great Ones. She used other scientists as test subjects. And Stadi is down there now with her. We can do this, Maya. Just a few changes and we can both be one. And if for some reason it doesn't work, they'll bring us back. What's happening? It's time, Maya. We'll know soon. Basha Rister, this ends now. No. I did this to make things right. I can make things right. I'll prove it to you. <gasps> Release Lieutenant Stadi. You'll see. We can make things all right. To Lorda Odyssey. I'm gonna need more security teams down here. You two go back to the ship. Laws, you're with me. She used me. I've been duped. Again! Her mind bridge is powerful. Anyone could have been deceived by it. It is not the realm of the Great Ones. Let me take you back to the ship. I know where she's going. Stay here. Talora, is Stadi with you? No, she was supposed to beam back with Kekas. Lipinski hasn't heard from him. Try your tricorder. Bosch has put up a dampening field. We'll do what we can to Laura out.
It won't solve anything, you know. You're right. It won't. If it was your Mahjong, what would you do? Probably the same. My soul weeps. My Mahjong. What is wrong? We have sinned. I wait for us. You say she attacked you? Yes, sir. I acted in self-defense. And I suppose the wind propelled her backwards, onto her back. As good an explanation as any. Do you know about my capture by Sirach in the Briar Patch? One of his lieutenants, Glenn Batross, and I were stranded on the Dyson Sphere together. After Captain Narrows had taken out Sirach, I could have spared her. I could have let her live. But we had a history. And I hated her. I hated everything she had done to me. And this insane grudge that she took out on me. All over a Cardassian terraforming plan. She hurt me so bad. And I killed her. Maybe not with my bare hands, but just the same. And whatever right I may have had, whatever I say to justify my actions, whatever rationale I use, I still have to live with what I did. I'm your friend, Maya. Don't forget that. We're here for each other. I'm sorry, Nevin. I am tired of letting you and this crew down. Just this once, I did something that means something. And I will live with what I did. Take your station, Lieutenant. Aye, sir.